Hi you guys, so I realize I don't really film that many breakfast mukbangs. It occurred to me that I've never had Taco Bell's breakfast. I honestly didn't even know that Taco Bell had breakfast, but I got the iced Cinnabon Delight Latte. Let's taste it. Okay, that's so good. It's not even coffee. It doesn't even taste like coffee. It just tastes like creamer. Let's see if it tastes like the Cinnabon Delight. I've had these before. Wait a minute. Isn't there supposed to be something in there? Okay, wow. No hate to Taco Bell, but they really skimped on that filling. I taste the filling, but it's like a tiny, tiny bit. Mm. The coffee is better. Oh, I love sugar. I got the like breakfast crunch wrap. There's egg, bacon, guacamole, um, salsa. Hash brown. Oh my God, wait, I didn't get any sauce. Wait, this is so good. Mmm. I think I actually might have some Taco Bell sauce in my fridge. Wait, I found a fire hot sauce packet. What? <laughs> I don't even know how old this is, but we're going to use it anyway. Yum. Mmm. This is so good, you guys. I'm honestly impressed. I honestly don't really eat fast food breakfast that much. The fast food breakfast I love the most is Chick-fil-A. Those chicken minis, ah, oh, they're so good. But, I think I like this breakfast crunch wrap better than like the actual crunch wrap. It's so good. I could eat two of these. Um, so little life update. I already spoke about this on Instagram and TikTok, but I don't work at my full-time job anymore. So I am doing content creation full-time. Which is really exciting. It's scary, but exciting. I've been thinking about it for a long time and now I finally get to do it. Um, I have savings and stuff. I would say I'm making around the same amount as I was at my full-time job. So, I figured why not try this out for a little bit, you know what I mean? So you're going to see a lot more videos from me. Comment what you want to see me eat on here because I will eat anything. I was thinking of doing like a crab leg boil for the next video. There's this like fish market on the wharf in DC and all the fish look so good. So I really, and I love crab legs. So I think I'm gonna get just a ton of crab legs. There's also other fast food places that I really do wanna try. Like I've never been to Arby's before. Everybody says that they have such good curly fries. So I kind of want to try it. You always know a good breakfast based on how good the hash brown is. Mm. That is good. I think this is my favorite fast food hash brown. It's definitely the crispiest. Oh my God. Let's see if this one is better than the other.
Um, yeah, there's just not that much filling in it. I don't know. It's kind of sad. There we go. You see that? Mm. These are really good. Taco Bell is so good. I kind of wanted to get their regular coffee just so I could taste it, but this, like, is just vanilla creamer. Like, I don't even really think there, there's coffee in it. Actually, I have an idea. Let's put some stoke in it and see how that tastes. If you've never had stoke, you have to have it. It's such a velvety kind of coffee. If you've been watching me for a while, you know. I still can't even taste the stove. If you're the kind of person that doesn't like coffee, you would like this drink because it's basically just sugar. It's good though. Also, I need to do more research about this, but I saw that people died from that like big Panera lemonade. Babe, what? That's so crazy. Look, I love Panera. That makes me so sad. I really like this crunch wrap, by the way. I also wanna do some conspiracy theory videos because I love looking at conspiracy theories, but I won't do anything too crazy. But if there's any you guys want me to talk about, let me know. Because I know a lot of older conspiracy theories, but I'm sure that there's probably so many new ones that I don't even know about. Okay, Taco Bell. I'm through with the hash brown. So... My favorite chocolate company that I work with, Tony's Chocolate Lonely, they invited me to see the Rockettes this weekend. So I'm really excited to hang out with them and to see the Rockettes. I've never seen them before. And then they also are doing a collaboration with this like New York City donut company and they invited me to the opening of it. I'm like, oh, they're just so nice. So I'm excited for this weekend. I was like just in the area for my sister's wedding because she got married in New Jersey so I just should have stayed but you know I just love a routine I love my apartment I love going to my gym now that I'm doing this full time I'm trying to really come up with like a set schedule for myself it's hard when like you're so used to your day being from nine to five And like, I technically could still do that, but I don't really love the nine to five lifestyle. Like I would always go to the gym late after work. Now I can go to the gym in the middle of the day. Like I'm literally gonna go to the gym after this, but then I'm gonna get to work. <laughs> I think I'm gonna edit this and post it today, which I never could have done with my full-time job because I was in an office, you know? I mean, I did work from home twice a week. It was a really good job to have. Like it was chill, um, great benefits. You're probably like, what have you done? I just felt like it was time. Like I went into that job being interested in law. And I'm like, if I don't leave now, I'll be there for the rest of my life. I really just needed a change in my life. And it's not like I'm not making money from this. I think it was a necessary change. and. Some people are like, what if social media goes away tomorrow? I'll figure it out then, babe. I'm also a wag walker on the side. Or like, I don't know, I really enjoyed 
the people in the service industry. Like when I was a server, it was so, it was more fun than an office job. I mean, granted I wasn't getting health insurance, but there's also always like Trader Joe's. The managers at Trader Joe's make like 80K a year. So, you know, you don't have to go into corporate America. It just is convenient because they give you a lot of good benefits. But also Trader Joe's offers insurance as well. I'm really thinking about Trader Joe. I mean, okay, though, so I'm going to continue doing this full time for a little to see how it goes. But I'm the kind of person that I always need to be like doing a million things at once. I'm like, oh, like maybe I should apply to Trader Joe's. Like that would be so fun. Like I could meet people. The people there are so hot. <laughs> I'm just a lot happier now. And I recognize that I'm really privileged to be able to do this kind of thing. So I am really grateful for everything that you guys have allowed me to do. Seriously, thank you. Like, I cannot stress it enough. I would not be here without you all. Last bite. Babe, that crunch wrap was amazing. I'm still curious as to what their actual coffee tastes like, but I'm glad I got this sugary drink. Sometimes it's what you need in the morning. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this. Let me know what you guys want to see next.